So we have a rhombus here and as we discussed in the case of square, in the case of rectangle, in rhombus, do we have symmetry? Is rhombus symmetric? If yes, then what number of lines of symmetry or line of symmetry is possible in case of a rhombus? If I say that if we join the midpoint of this edge and the midpoint of this edge, the opposite pair of these line segments of parallelogram, then if we pass a line from this, then we'll have two equal halves. Yes, this will be the right portion and this will be the left portion. That is, this line will divide this into two equal halves. But this line will be will be called axis of symmetry or line of symmetry only when these two equal halves are mirror images of each other. Okay. Now, if I try to, you know, if we have to check whether these opposite or the two equal halves are mirror images or not, then just imagine that this is a folding line. And if you try to fold any one of these two equal halves, any one or both of them, if you try to fold them around this folding line, then you'll get something like this. If you fold this right portion and you take it here, folding it along this line, along this line, then this vertex will come here. This vertex will come here, though it's not very accurate figure that I have drawn here. It's just a rough diagram, but just what I wanted to show you is that this vertex will not lie on this one and this vertex will not lie on this one as it was in the case of rectangle and as it was in the case of a square. In this case, this, these two vertices will not overlap with these opposite vertices. Okay, and same with this edge also, it will come here and this edge will come here and this edge will come here. So nothing is, you know, uh, coming on each other. What about this, one? the midpoint of this edge and the midpoint of this edge, if we join, we have a line. Is it a line of symmetry? So we are going to apply the same thing what we did earlier. If we try to fold this sec portion, if we try to fold along this line, then it will come something like this. Again, not accurate, but just imagine that this is not overlapping with each other. That is, this vertex will not overlap with this one if you try to fold this here. And this vertex will not overlap with this one. It will come here and this will come something here and therefore neither of these two vertices nor to these three three you know line segments will overlap with these three so again this was neither l1 nor l2 these are not line of symmetry okay what about this one so this line is passing from the opposite vertices and if we do the same thing what we did earlier and if we try to you know uh, fold this equal half this is the equal half and this was the equal half and if we try to fold this one on this side then it will exactly overlap with this this side that is this vertex will come here this edge will overlap with this one and this edge will overlap with this one that is when this line divi divides this rhombus into two equal halves then these two opposite sides on being folded with overlap with each other, making them the mirror images. That is, this line L3 will act as the axis of symmetry or the line of symmetry or the mirror line. What about this one? So, this is again a L4, that is a line joining the two opposite vertices, passing through the two opposite vertices and if I do the similar thing that we did earlier that is if these two equal halves are to be mirror images then both of them should overlap with each other therefore if I take this portion this portion and fold it along this folding line then this vertex will exactly overlap here and this edge will exactly overlap with this one and this edge will exactly overlap with this one making these two equal halves a perfect mirror images of each other that is, this line L4 is the line of symmetry. Therefore, this is a line of symmetry. 
this is a line of symmetry that is if you in the case of rhombus if you join if you join the opposite vertices then along that line you will get the line of symmetry but if you join the midpoints of the opposite edges you're not going to get the line of symmetry therefore the total line of symmetry the number of number of lines of symmetry in the case of rhombus is what sorry is 2 is 2 